You know why I don't want to watch movies? You know, you can watch an awesome, fantastic movie, but when your mind and you are creative and you are open and you're with God and you understand that God is the great creator, if you couldn't, okay, God could do anything. So you would think God would never be a pixelated character. If God wanted to, if you really understand what living spirit is, not just the word God, if living spirit wanted to, it does. And guess what? Somebody with living spirit within them created some silly characters and silly cartoons and silly porn products and silly everything. Silly everything. Everything is just silly if it's not helping people. It's just fucking silly. And we allow it to happen. Now think about it. God can be a mosquito. Of course, God is. Many mosquitoes. God could be a horse. And he could be ridden on into, into a battle. He could be ridden on by an Indian. He could be ridden on in a, in a pony show. And he's been doing that too. And she's been doing that too. And it has been doing that too. And it was riding them. And it was the action of all things being possible. At all times, everywhere, in every place and space. And when you get that through your head, you'll realize that God is everything and does everything. It's what you've got right in front of you. And what you think you've got. Later on, you think you, you, you had it for a while. Hare Krishna. Hare. H A. D. Had is a past tense of what G-O was. You may not get that, but it's true. Hare Krishna? Hmm. Here is Christ. Do you get that? That's what it is. But you don't want to admit that because your people or your religion may not say it that way. Your country may not understand it like that. You have other stories you've heard. And I wrote those ones too. That's the messed up thing. Dan didn't. But I did. And I'm in Dan. All the time. And I'll never let him let this go because it's true. And you people have to know it. Because if you don't, you'll always hold yourself down. Thinking you're your ego. When that's just a vehicle. Like you ride in a car. You're riding in the body. Like you use a fork and spoon. You use your organs and your brain. But you don't take it the same degree of intensity. You use your fork and your spoon more than you even use your brain because most people just shovel food down their throats three times a day or and then snack in between and chug this down and munch these chips and at that snack because they're just impulsive and they don't think about it. And if they could learn from an earlier age, it would be helpful because if they get to an older age, they don't want to hear that shit because they know what they should do and they don't have to be told what to do. But apparently they all do because they're poisoning themselves on purpose and saying, don't tell me what to do. I know what I'm doing. And they don't. If they were conscious, they wouldn't do half of it. So, I'm about to pick up my son, my earth son, Xavier. He knows that he's not just that. He knows that he's living spirit too. But he doesn't conceptualize it deep enough or even understand it at all. But he's trying. And his heart's open. And he's one of the saviors. You all are. He just is starting to see it now. But he's young and he doesn't know how to approach people his age. Or anybody. Because even the adults are asleep around him. But anyway, I love you guys peace. I'm only trying to help.